Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vicky from Rockstars and Royalty, and today I'm going to do a little review of E6000 Fabrifuse. I'm going to show you how I use it to put crystals on, and I'm also going to test it on a few different fabrics just to see how strong it is and how well the crystals hold up once they're glued on. Here in Australia, you can buy Fabrifuse in Lingcraft, and there's online sellers selling it as well, so it's pretty easy to get hold of. It's around between $15 to $20 for this packet here in Australia. I don't know how much it is in the US, and it comes like this. So it says on the packet that it's fabric glue, it's crystal clear, that you can use it to stick appliques, patches, trim, lace, ribbon, decorative accents, leather, yarn, fabric to fabric and much more and then that's what it says on the back of the packet so dry flat for eight hours and then it's washable after 72 hours so I thought it'd be great to test this by putting some crystals onto some different types of fabric and then we'll leave them for a couple of days and see how strong the bond is so I've got some polyester satin silk satin sequins lace polyester chiffon and some tulle. These are all fabrics that I use regularly in my work. They're all fabrics that I put crystals onto regularly. So it would be brilliant to know how well the crystals stick to them. Let's open the Fabrifuse and take it out of its packet. This is the little bottle. And you can see, this is the other thing that I love about Fabrifuse, is that it comes with this really fine nozzle, which you can use as an applicator, which makes putting the little dots of it for your crystals onto your fabric really really quick so first of all i'm going to open it and just take off that little seal oh which has actually got stuck in the lid i have to get my tweezers and pull that out so i'm going to be doing this test with two different types of crystals so i've got these pink ones in two sizes which are on a foil backing and then i've got these light amethyst ab crystals which have the hot fix backing on so we'll see how well both of these stick there's two ways you can put your crystals on. So I like to use these tweezers which have the curved end. Or you can also grab a pencil and just put a tiny bit of blue tack on the end and use that to pick up your crystal. So again, I'm going to test both of these methods and see how well they work with the Fabrifuse. So the first two fabrics I'm going to use are my poly satin and my silk satin. To put your dots of Fabrifuse where you want the crystals, the first thing that I do is just squeeze it onto a scrap bit of fabric just to make sure there's no blockage in the nozzle. Because if you've got a blockage and you squeeze it, it might splurt out everywhere. So I just make sure that it's ready to go by doing a tiny dot onto my scrap fabric. And then I know it's good to go onto my proper fabric. So I'm going to do maybe one, two, three, four, five. You can see how much control you've got over squeezing that. So let's put 10 little dots there. And let's try the pencil for this. So you just touch your crystal with the blue tack and it should let go. Oh, it's not no, it's not quite sticking to the Fabrifuse enough. No, don't like that one. Let's go to my tweezers. So for the tweezers, I just pick it up like that. And then I use my finger just to help push it into the glue. So let's do four of the little hot fix ones. And then we'll do some of the foil back ones as well. Oops, pinged that one. I'm going to do exactly the same on the polyester satin. So that's the crystals on the two types of satin. So I'm going to move them to one side and let them dry. Next, I'm going to do the same on these four fabrics, but because they're sheer, the glue goes through them. So what I do is I use a piece of silicon mat. Um, I bought these as a replacement for cling film and um, glad wrap in my kitchen. And they are heat resistant and brilliant. And they're also brilliant for putting crystals on. So I'm going to pop that down and then put my four sheer fabrics over the top. So I've got 
my tulle, lace, sequins, and chiffon, which is a polyester chiffon. You can barely see the tulle on there. <laughs> then I'm going to use exactly the same method to put the same crystals onto all of these. So I'm going to do my little squeeze onto the calico first to make sure my end's nice and clear. And then start at this end. So once they're stuck on, I kind of just lift each one to make sure they're not going to completely stick to the silicon. But then you'll be careful about where you put them back down so you don't get more glue coming through. So I'm just going to sort of move them to one end. The tool lifted up and went back down, so I've got a bit of extra glue on that one. So to be more careful when I do tool like this in the future. So I'm going to leave these to dry for a couple of days and then we'll see how strong the bond is. Okay, so my crystals have now been drying for three days. So next I'm going to try and pick them off and see how strong they are. So let's start with the polyester satin. These are the ones with the hot fix back and these are the ones with the just regular foil backing. So hot fix pops off. Well, they do pop off, but I'm having to get my nail... Oh, that one's good. They do come off, but it takes a good pick with my nail to get them off. They're pretty firm. So that was poly satin. I got them all off, but it took a good, a good um, pick with my nail to get them off. Next up, we got silk satin. So again, hot fix, foil back. Oh, they're on there, good. All right, hot fix is off, but it took a lot. Yeah, and the same, the foil back. So they come off, but again, take a lot of picking. So that's really good. Then we've got lace. Oh, wow. Yeah, again, they're coming off, but it's, it's a lot of effort to get them off. So they're not just going to get knocked off randomly. Then we've got tulle. Yeah, again, it takes a, yeah, really, they come off, but they're taking a lot to get off. This is polyester chiffon. Oh, they're on there, well. Oh, they're good on that. Okay, I've got one off. Yeah, they're not coming off easily off the chiffon. And then lastly, we've got the sequins. So when I pick it, it's, they're not coming off. The, oh, that one's just popped off, but sort of more lifting the sequins and actually coming off. So the crystals do come off, but only when I get my thumbnail right in underneath and pop them right off. They're not going to get knocked off just from wear and tear when I rub them. The ones that are still on there, they're not going, they're not going to get knocked off just from wearing it. So I think it's better than Gem Tack. It's definitely more secure than Gem Tack. And I think it's going to be my crystal gluing glue of choice from now on. So I've just finished my first major project using Fabrifuse to put the crystals on. So I've just embellished this entire corset body. So it's got crystals front and back. And all up, this took me eight hours to add all the crystals to. So I think that is quicker than it used to be. My old method was to squeeze the gem tack that I was using onto a piece of paper, and then I'd use a toothpick to put it on, and then the tweezers. So having the applicator nozzle built into the bottle and being able to squeeze it di directly from that definitely made it faster. So I was really impressed with that. Um, I used crystals that were three and four millimeters approximately. And the size of glue dots that I was getting from this were about the right size for that. And you could go bigger as well. 
Um, I think if you want to use crystals that are any smaller than that, you'd need to put this into a different applicator with a smaller nozzle to get smaller dots. But for three and four mil crystals and bigger, it's absolutely fine. This was a brand new bottle when I started the corset and that's how much I've got left. So it goes a long way. I'm really impressed. I thought I'd get through more than that doing this whole corset. Because it's so thick, after a while, when the quantity starts to go down, I was putting my dots on, then standing it down, and then doing my crystals. And I was finding it was taking a while when I tipped it back up to use again to get the glue back into the nozzle. So what I started doing after I'd squeezed my little lot of dots on was putting the lid on and then standing it upside down and then it was completely ready to go and use for the next lot of dots that I was putting on. Also by doing that, I found that the nozzle got um, less gummed up because it wasn't drying out in between. Before I was just using it and then standing it without the lid on and it was getting a bit gummed up. So definitely put the lid back on in between using it if you're gonna be doing a lot of work. And yeah, standing it upside down definitely helped to speed up the process a little bit more as well. So I am really impressed with Fabrifuse. Um, I've been using it for about a week now and it seems to be really solid once it's dried. It seems to work on most fabrics. It's really quick and simple to use. There's no fumes like there is with regular E6000 and this is definitely going to be my new fabric glue of choice for putting crystals on. So I highly recommend it. It's a big thumbs up from me and I use a lot of crystals. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me review and test and give you a little demonstration of how to use Fabrifuse. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share my channel with your sewing and crafty friends and I will be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching.